Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import estimates into QuickBooks Online using Z Axis. Before I do that, let's just go through what an estimate is in QuickBooks Online. So I've opened an estimate in QuickBooks Online to show you what they look like. So really this is used as a bid or a quote for a customer for future work that will be undertaken on behalf of them. Um, and it's then an estimate can then be created into an invoice once the work is complete. So what, what I'll be demonstrating in this movie is how you can take estimate data held in a text or an Excel file and import that directly into QuickBooks Online using Z axis utility. So first step in the process is to open Z axis on your desktop and we're going to connect to our QuickBooks Online company file. So we paste the tokens in here and Axis will connect to the file. So next we click on the import tab and we'll browse to the file that contains the estimates that we can import into QuickBooks Online. Now, so I have some test data here that I've created previously. Now this is in text format, but you can have it in Excel or IIF or CSV formats. So the first thing you'll notice is the structure of the file. Across the top, there's a row which details what's in each column. And then underneath that is repeating rows of data. So the next stage in the process, is we need to map the columns in the import file to the corresponding fields in QuickBooks. So the transaction type, we're going to select as estimate. And now we'll go through the process of mapping the QuickBooks online fields shown in this column to the corresponding column in our import file. So for example, here we know document number will go against document number and date will go against date and so on. Now the fields marked in yellow are mandatory and those are the minimum fields that we need to map in order to create an estimate. Um, and if you need any assistance, you'll see in this link up here, you can click this and it'll take you to an article on our website that describes in detail all the fields that you can map and what is expected there. So once we mapped all the fields that we're going to bring in, we'll save this mapping so that we can reuse it on subsequent imports. So I'll give it a name. So now you'll see in this screen, only the fields that we've mapped will appear. You also have the option to use advanced features such as using auto numbering, um, updating contact address details, whether you want to overwrite or skip if the estimate already exists in QuickBooks Online and so on. So when you're ready to import, click on the import button. Access will validate the data to make sure it's in the correct format and begin the process of importing that directly into QuickBooks Online, creating those estimates as it goes. And when it's complete, you'll get a um, summary message down the bottom here. Now to quickly check that these estimates are in QuickBooks in the way you want them, you can click on this view button here. Access will open QuickBooks and display that transaction so here you can see the detail that we've um, just imported on this estimate. So back in here, we can have also have the choice to undo these imports if we want to on an individual basis. We also have the ability to undo all of the transactions if you want to roll back the import. And when you're finished, click close and the transactions have been imported into QuickBooks for you. So that's very simply, that's how you can use Z axis to upload text or Excel files of estimates directly into your QuickBooks Online company file.